we took a break, but we're still here. This is Into Space. Into Space. Into Space. space. Yeah. Space. Space. And um, we're back. Uh. Back. Um. Fuck. Into Space. space. <laughs> <laughs> Into space. Do you, do you want me to send you the thing? <laughs> He's freezing, yeah. man. He's freezing. Who, who's on this podcast with us tonight? Like, who who do you see in front of you? Just All right. tell us that. I see Lieutenant. Toby Newman. <laughs> Private Burgess. <laughs> Private Thomas. <laughs> Private Sue. Private Trace. And finally, <laughs> Silas. Corporal Silas. Corporal Silas. Yeah. I I gifted a, a narrative point. I spent a thousand to gift uh, Silas a narrative point. Cool. It has been done. Okay. Where, where is it? Who, oh, there we go. To the score. Who who scores this? Just my God. I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> who does that? All lowercase <laughs> letters. <laughs> is and and Mr. Interrupt. All right, and where? Who are our Patreons? Natalia Klein. Natalia Klein. Tim Roberts. Daniel Holker. And nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Couch Fire Media. And Trois Replay Productions. Whoever they yeah. are, whoever the fuck they, they do. do stuff too. Jesus, God, those guys. Subscribe <laughs> today, soldier. I mean, subscribe <laughs> yeah. today, citizen, and become a soldier. Uh, and Earn your right to, to be here. Can Air Force. Thanks to uh, uh, our sponsor for tonight. Uh, who, who is our sponsor for? Our sponsor needs no introduction. <laughs> So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Montage time. You guys are rolling. Oh, I'll give <clears throat> rolling through the desert of Novus Terra. I imagine uh, there's a radio uh, piping through popular Novus Terra music. I was born in East LA. I was born in East LA. <laughs> Can you guys hear the the uh, uh, very annoying dog that's barking in the background? No. Good. <clears throat> I'm glad. Glad, uh, glad, glad. I can hear it's it. Bits <laughs> Can you hear it? I, I heard it a few seconds ago. That shrill hound. <clears throat> Anyway, it's about the size of my mouse, by the way. Lap dogs. I don't understand lap dogs. <laughs> Kill them all. Anyway, right. As you guys are going through the mountain, uh, rocks kicking up behind the treads, uh, the wind blowing your hair from the step. If you had not a helmet on, Dolby, you probably have noticed uh, at this point that your crew is actually responding to your orders. Uh, we'll say Silas and Skip, you've noticed that Burgess has a new toy, something on his back, and he's... Uh, he looks like a Ghostbuster, kind of. Uh, <laughs> the backpack is, is much thinner. It's all spacey and futuristic. But there's this 
hose that kind of like connects on the back um to the backpack stars all up in the sky uh you're still of course in the milky way galaxy so you're seeing the spiral arm of it and such the milky way and you're at a very high altitude of course you're uh marine armor is pressurized so you're not really affected by that assuming you have your helmet on looking down a sheer cliff to your left you can see the stars uh, reflecting off a distant sea body of water which is a sea also called an ocean far off to the right of it come on far off to the right of it uh, along uh, the horizon you see lights of a colony. There is what looks like a wall around it uh, from this distance. It seems a little odd for them to have built a fortress of some sort uh, on a deserted planet or moon. Um, tiered buildings and such. And it essentially, if you've driven through West Virginia and ha- at night and have seen random cities that have no name, and then realize they're not cities, but they are factories. It's kind of what this thing looks like off in the distance. Does anyone know what the fuck I'm talking about? Absolutely. Yes. Oh, yes, I do. Well, then you guys can see it in your mind. In your mind's eye. In mind's eye. <laughs> do we Imagine see... it's really dark and there's like little lights that make you think there's a city down there. Do we see uh, any um, aqueducts? No. As we pass no. by the... Why are you upstairs? Can I can I spend a narrative point saying that we see some aqueducts? Only if you pronounce it right. <laughs> Aqu- Aqu- aqueduct. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, Ken, it's a quay. Okay. A quay. A quay. These are a quay ducks. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Aqua. Okay. Aqua What? Aqua Rible. Ghost. I'm Quayabla. What, Drizzle? <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, as we pass by the ocean, uh, as we look at I'm going to open comms, be like, hey, everyone, we learned their water here is got so much metal in it, it's actually electric. So. Stay away from the water if you can. <laughs> so it's uh, real fizzy water. Oh my god. Would I know? There. Would I know if 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 the uh, is it all the uh, salinization is the way they get their water? You have no idea. I mean, but the aqueducts... Speed desalinization. Uh, these fucking yeah. aqueducts. <laughs> I don't know. Aqueducts. Before we get, before we get to the aqueducts. I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to, to send another nucle- nuclear uh, bomb down. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> With a narrative point, you can run across a structure that is not dissimilar to an aqueduct. Okay. However, yeah, no, I can dig it. I can dig it. You will pass by, since it's the future, an aqueduct. (laughs) Does everybody know what an aqueduct looks like? Yeah. I'm, I'm getting... Yes. Shake shake heads no if you don't know what it is. I shook my head up that up and down. Yeah, but you you did it in the most millennial way possible. You're like this. Oh my gosh. Bite going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in right. Give me give me give me two hands like this. Right? Like this go. <laughs> if you know what an aqueduct is. Aqueduct. You know, I just googled it. 
It's like a bridge for water, but it's like a bridge yeah. packed on bridges. A water bridge. It's like a water bridge. <clears throat> they're actually Don't drink really out of it, because fucking... there's still... It's water. Bottles. They're actually, they're actually really, bridge. really complicated. Sure. They really are. They built, like, gears and shit. Anyway. Yeah, you pass by one. Uh, Wilhelm, can you but stop is it a bridge the... over troubled water? It is. Yeah, can you can you stop the um, the the Simon and Garfunkel real quick, and and the crawler because I need to uh, do a thing really fast. As you pull the crawler up, you parallel park next to the aqueduct. Um, Burgess, uh, Skip, would you guys set a couple of charges? on this aqueduct. Make sure it blows up. So this thing is... We made, have uh, charges, oh. sir? Yeah, we got charges. I, I packed supplies on the way in. Okay. I wonder if he's glad. Glad, glad, glad. I'm glad! <laughs> uh, <laughs> this thing is made of the same kind of stone that is all around you, as well as metal and rebar I just wanted to say rebar that's probably not what it's made of but you can say it that made rebar it's a tall elegant statuesque looking aqueduct uh, set him to go the off hill. set him to go off and maybe I don't know a day you hear the gurgling of the water flowing from the mountain <laughs> down to the city from the mountain to the city synchronize your on fucking off until you guys tell me what you fucking do would, would you synchronize want... your watches to 24 hours where would you prefer where the them to be remote uh no we could do a timer why are we destroying their water yeah what's what's the oh, okay. uh Okay, all right, that's fine. We could do it remote. That's fine. We don't. We don't have to just do it willy nilly. You guys convince me. I don't need to be a complete um, murder killer. Player, <laughs> player. I'm bored. Let's blow up something. Sound. <laughs> 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 Where's the gear to combat? Yeah, I don't want to end it. It's fine. It's fine. We it. can. We can right. preserve. I was like, we're relatively agreeable with with the R I A I element of P, whatever you want to call it. The aqueduct. It. There's no such thing as AI. I I correct. I like I like I, Dolby like stiffens up. Soldier, there's no such thing as AI. His well, voice changes. That's why I call it the element of P Q R X T V. Are you being are you being tech phobic right now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, quiet, quiet, everybody. I don't know what we're talking on, about anymore. I'm just here for on this crawler. There's no oh, such oh, thing right. as AI. AI does not exist. You do not believe AI exists. AI is not a thing. It does not exist. I'm just gonna pat him on the head and walk away. <laughs> Set those charges for me, privates. Uh, I will get into the bag. It's fine. And get... You don't have to put them on a timer. You can just do it by trigger. But give me the trigger. So I think I'm going to walk with Skip uh, to go set these charges. Right. Speaking of Skip, continue. What were you saying? <laughs> it's like literally everyone was like, <laughs> talk to for Chisel. Uh, I'm just I'm going to go set the charges. I'll I'll go to wherever he packed them. Uh, I'll grab two charges and um, set them the best way that I know how since we're in the montage. Uh, I won't yeah, you don't. It. You don't need to. You don't need to uh, throw so down. I'm gonna put an arm around Skip when we're walking over to where we plant the first charge, and I'm gonna be like, Skip, have you ever heard of weaponized incompetence? Uh, yes. Okay. So, you've been given an order, not not a good one, just an order. You know, this would be a great opportunity to exercise some of that incompetence. Just do a bad job, and it doesn't have to blow up. And we, but in all, fair, well. in all fairness, if something goes bad, and we need something to hold over their heads while we're in the city, 
this good. This this that this is a good way to do it. If, it, if we, timer, I don't agree with. But if we can be like, hey, if we don't get out, we blow. We're blowing up your water. This is actually a solid plan for us to try to escape the city if things go bad. So, so, so you keeping the trigger though, or because like we probably should not let him have it. <laughs> if we don't uh, set these charges, how else is it gonna blow up? Um, <laughs> do you have uh, another? Do you have another reason? Do you have another way? I mean, I, uh, I got another way, but uh, you know, maybe, maybe I should save them. No, don't um, do that. I will oh, set no. the charges, and I'll see if I can hold on to the trigger. These are not in my bag when I'm not looking so that I can pretend like I don't know that I have it. No, because if, like I said, if things go bad and the only way to get us out alive is to blow up that water supply, I'm going to do that to get us out alive. Back on the crawler, since we'll say that this conversation is happening, (laughs) you know, uh, 50, 60 feet away and on private comms, uh, since you all have helmets on and you're in spacesuits body armor and shit on the crawler silas you're sitting there corporal silas you're sitting there in your little uh sniper seat maybe looking down at the scope which you've hacked as it gives you the feed uh you see that the capital ship has uh moved it is obviously in a different orbit it's not in a synchronous orbit with the city uh the transport the very small transport think of a star trek style uh shuttle right like what? What that? Do you know what I'm talking about? What that looks like? Yeah. Imagine yeah. a toaster. I mean, you have a toaster with like a, a pointy cockpit. <clears throat> this shuttle that you're seeing, it's maybe the size of like a house. It's pretty big. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, you really couldn't see it. <clears throat> and it has like lights that you know go. You can monitor the ship that has landed as maybe you switch the bands, uh, um, the spectral bands, so you can see in the dark and see that the ship is hovering over the city. You just can't see it because it's dark. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Yeah, go on. So don't you. Are we going to do anything as far as investigating these ships going into the capital city? There's ships going into the capital city other than the one uh, picking up the ore? Just the one, but what about this little cargo ship? I think we should investigate it just in case, uh, you know, we're, we're, this is a stealth (laughs) mission. So if it acts like it sees us or if if you got any notification that, that it monitors our position, Positioning, I, I would definitely like to know. Dolby is uh, drinking um, life, um, not life wine, life but um, uh, what is it? True wine. I'm having some sips of some strong wine. Yeah. Um, Great. Great. Uh, so, so, so he lifts his little helmet up and he drinks a little bit and puts it back down. <laughs> Every time you get a sort of a whiff <laughs> of diesel fumes and <laughs> and just a hint of radiation. <laughs> just a hint of radiation. Um, uh, I don't recommend. <laughs> yeah, the right. size of this ship. I mean, it's it's a. You would have guessed it's about a cruiser class, which is a pretty large ship. Like it's not like a battleship or anything, um, but it being now in the atmosphere, in the event you wanted to to take a look at it, you could. Granted, we're in the montage right now, so you'd have to drop out into the dread. Uh, but what you can just get a scant idea of is the ship itself is the size of a couple city blocks. So it's large, but it's not gigantic. Um, It hovering over the city, uh, this colony is quite large. It's several miles in diameter, kind of sprawls out next to the body of water, uh, as well as um, some of the northern foothills and mountains. Uh, And you can see on your little HUD map, uh, a railroad 
goes apart from it, or I'm sorry, from it, uh, and branches off into into the distance into di a couple different locations. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to do anything with that right now. Are we, Dolby, are we not going to talk about the new weapon that Burgess has? Burgess has a, a new weapon? Yes. Did you, did you see the giant backpack he was wearing? Mm. You know, I, I feel like the less I pay attention to Burgess, the better off I am. <laughs> you're, you're not even a little worried about that going south? And maybe him, you know, shooting. Obviously, Burgess, how do you know how to operate Burgess, that? Burgess is a fine soldier that does what he needs to do when given orders. Uh, I don't worry about Burgess. He keeps his uh, bunk in shape, and um, Dolby takes another sip of the strong wine. Does anyone have a cigarette? I want to test something out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back and mind my business and just keep surveying for potential threats on our, uh, on our Ka way. Katrina, did you have any luck with the, the locals? I, I think I think we might have them um, interested in, in a trading solution. <laughs> Maybe. Katrina, check. One, two. Click, click. Katrina. Um, <laughs> just not. Um, Sorry, I made it just out. Katrina, did did you hear anything that Dolby said? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you have any luck with the locals, uh, Katrina? <laughs> Katrina, are you are are you playing <laughs> Bash? Was it Bash Bandicoot? Bandicoot? Is that what it is? Crash Bandicoot what? in your HUD again? <laughs> She's sitting there. She got her helmet on, like. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking holographic play like Call of Duty for four thousand. Did 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 you know we were no, on an alien planet? Oh, okay. <laughs> did you know we were on an alien planet that is very hostile to the SSA? Uh and that I have to imagine and I don't know everything. I really don't. But I'm relatively sure that there are no operatives. Uh, from the SSA on this planet, or or, uh, and I'm gonna go on a on a long limb. I'm pretty sure that your name doesn't carry much weight. So, did you make any inroads on the uh, with what what happened when you were on your oh. lunch break? Well, <laughs> I got some delicious um, beef Wellington, which is wonderful. Good to know. Um, good to know. Of course, you probably never. Yeah, never mind. That doesn't mean anything to you because you never had real beef to begin with. But what is beef? Um, <clears throat> what's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Comes from a cow, you know. Uh, uh, what is a cow? Important. Oh, it's a creature. An animal you eat. Yeah, you eat it sometimes. That we don't yeah. worry about. I've never cow. eaten an animal. I don't know what a cow is. Oh, uh, well, anyway, so yeah, I made him an offer, uh, to have Thomas shipping, um, you know, help move their product and, uh, uh negotiate on their behalf with the SSA. Did they seem uh, yeah. interested? They did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they Can did. I bid something to take us out sure. of there? What are you trying to do? <clears throat> I am trying to see if that uh if she's telling the truth or not uh yeah i'm gonna bid um and now you guys are in the dread by the way yeah i know i'm gonna bid my period of life i've seen a lot a lot a lot a lot which is rough <clears throat> uh bidding period of life um 
it doesn't take I mean Dolby I wouldn't say Dolby's a genius but it doesn't take a genius to know that Katrina Telmas is shifty um, I mean she has been uh, that said you haven't caught her in an outright lie uh, maybe a little bit of suspicious behavior um, she there's a conflict of interest which you are aware of <clears throat> so all of that said she's clearly not telling you everything that happened uh, is she lying? no but is she prevaricating? aka lying by omission? well it depends on her motives yeah. she's obviously <laughs> telling you kinda nothing Katrina, I need you to know that I'm going to have to make a couple of deals on this mission, potentially, that may go against the SSA uh, protocols uh, for certain. Uh, so part of the reason I think that it's good that you're on this mission with us is I've been given very loose parameters to the, necess the necessary alignments of us acquiring the minerals off this planet so if you can run whatever it is whatever shifty shit you do and that's fine you can be shifty as fuck and that's great uh you can do whatever you need to do but as long as those materials get back to the ssa that's all i'm concerned about can you do Good that point for me? you might uh, you even though she's wearing a helmet you can't see her facial expression you might actually uh, see Katrina kind of square her shoulders like right at you and sort of like tense up and be like, me, me, Shifty, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, I said, Shifty. I saw what you did to that woman. <laughs> I know. Well, he did. He said it, too. Oh, he, he said it just now. I did say yeah, Shifty. Yeah. I, I said Shifty. Um, oh. what, what woman? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't... I know she was part of your team and you cut her in half. I've don't give me that. Jazzy, I half. sent you Bullshit. a message. You I, I've cut a lot of... I've cut a lot of people in half over my time as as a soldier uh, and, and all within uh, the legal and uh, noble parameters of the SSA. I, I am not concerned about my history so if you want to run it through my CEO you're welcome to yeah well I've seen firsthand what the quote noble uh, parameters of the SSA are and it means jack to me so but in the end it doesn't matter our goals align for this mission so that's all that your really opinion is makes any difference to me and uh, I'm happy to see you in court Court. <laughs> there is no. I mean, court if you have if you have charges, <laughs> if you have charges that you want to bring against me, that's fine. You know, but I I do everything by the book without um, any issue <clears throat> regarding uh, SSA policy. Uh, but I do appreciate to know that you are aligned with us and and this situation. So. It's good to know. I'll be the, I just the, make a quick good. note of the amount of times you've said the word policy in the last like 25 <laughs> minutes. Like, I've known you a long time and you never gave a fuck about that word. The I'm SSA like you. The uh, SSA is is Daddy, a noble group where you too go, go, can can become a citizen if you complete your hours <laughs> of, of 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 duty and the line of of doing everything you can to make sure that the SSA is taken care of. You too can become a citizen. You too are a soldier. Jazzy and Max, I sent you guys a message. I don't know if you saw it. Yes, that was <laughs> okay. The part of indeed. Uh, uh at the aqueducts. <laughs> Uh, uh, skip as we are now yes. in the dread um I, you're sitting there going 
I want to spend a narrative point. Okay. Um, I'm going to take. Or I, I had three. I got three charges out of the bag, and it's a true two. I can set up a two triggered system. So what I want to do with the narrative point is I set one charge up to the top where it'll do damage, but not significant. And then I will set two charges that would bring it down. So basically, sure. when the time comes, <clears throat> when the time comes, we can do a warning yeah. shot. And then, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you bid to do this properly? Uh, also, Silas, I misspoke about what the the terrain actually looks like, what you're looking at. So I will tell you what it looks like now. And anyone who cares to use their ability to see in the dark, if you have that ability, uh, you can see this too. <clears throat> what oh. you see is this, off in the distance. What were you saying, Andrew? Nothing? Call of Duty 4000? Mm, yes. No? <clears throat> off in the distance in the water you see what looks like an oil uh, platform at the coast you see what looks like a small city uh, it looks very very industrial it's connected with a railroad across the desert past the foothills to the main city which looks like it's walled. As you now see, the walls probably have to do with the aqueducts and such. The clad ship is hovering over the western part of the city, the sort of northwestern part, near the mountains. So there's northern mountains. You're in the southern mountains. The main city is between those two mountain ranges. Going as you're looking at the city going left from the city railroad to the coast where there's a small, we'll call it settlement, very industrial. And then maybe half a mile into the ocean is this oil platform looking thing. That's what you see. And no one else does. You know, the rest of you can kind of see, uh, the lights um, from, from these two places. It looks like a large city and perhaps a smaller city off to the left. That's all. Skip. Uh, I bid uh, my tier of play, which is seasoned, because I've done this before. I've had to set up these. This is a get out fail safe. And so I've I've had to do it before. You do. I uh, do it rather expertly while Burgess watches. And uh, I want to say Cherokee Sue is with, there, uh, with you because, well, I guess Cherokee went back to the rover, the crawler, because he was talking to Dolby. Where is yeah, Cherokee? So I said my piece. I said my piece. Um, you, you Skip told me what he's going to do. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just agreed and walked away. Back and then walked Skip. back. Okay, so so it's yeah. Burgess and Skip at the aqueduct <clears throat> as Skip hey, ETN and those uh, those charges. Uh, we need to head out in five. We should be on our way back. Burgess, are you ready to go back? Yeah. Are the charges set? Yes. This one don't look like it's as big as the others. Is it? Do you? You, do you, will it need some help? No, it's fine. It's a warning shot. <laughs> Archangel, oh, is, th That's is there smart uh... thinking. <laughs> Are we, so we're, all right, as we're walking back to the roller after setting the charges, after we've walked away a fair bit, I'm going to point my, um, flamethrower up and uh, test it out. See if it works. Um, <clears throat> the uh, <laughs> what do you bid to use this flamethrower? It is it is not a standard 
uh, weapon uh, for for a grunt, although for a special force it would be, or like a special unit it would be. I will bid particularly special unit. Um, <laughs> I will bid a uh, musketeer. <clears throat> okay. Holding up this flamethrower. Uh, <laughs> Skip trace. <clears throat> you are you in front of Burgess or are you behind him? I would have I would have started in front. I don't know if he overtook me, but I would have been leading to head back. Oh, I'm leaving some space. Okay. As he turns back, takes kind of a knee, puts the hose <laughs> up front, and it's, you know, the right end, and flips off the safety and hits rock and roll. There's a moment, uh, Burgess, that you see the torch light. It's this, um, I believe it's violet. I think that's what this is. Uh, hold on one second. Why do I want to get this right? Because I'm pedantic. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Um, so it's purple. <clears throat> yeah, it's a it's a brilliant neon purple. Goes uh, very hot, and a blast of magical looking, uh, a nebula of death, if you will this purple plume that that tapers off into uh blues and violets beautiful erupts from from uh the mouth of this 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 weapon shoots a good medium distance so 80 100 feet into the air <gasps> scorching the side of the aqueduct like a massive fucking plume as you see uh the little counter start spinning, going uh, decreasing from 100%. Just roll a d6 for your mishap die. Or chaos die, I should say. Three. That is not a one. As it decreases uh, 3%. All of you see this, a huge explosion of purple fire shooting into the air a hundred feet. Okay, um, I don't know what's going on over there, but we need to GTFO, so Silas, everybody back to the crawler. You note, moments later, the ship begins to move. Amazing. It works. Uh, Your brain does not. Burgess, why did you just alert them to our position? <laughs> All right. I was checking not, it out. <laughs> if you're not onto the crawler in and, and, uh, the next 30 seconds, you will it. be left behind. I start running. You do. <clears throat> uh, way to draw the Anybody want charges bid? we just planted. <laughs> <laughs> But he didn't. He didn't flame them. No. <laughs> they exploded. <clears throat> Speaking of, skip trace. Yep. Your job. Uh, you did a very good job with the bid and everything. Uh, it is a D six chaos die when the trigger goes. You don't. You don't do it oh, until okay, the trigger, until the trigger happens. But so you're aware. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. You guys continue. The action is on you. Okay. As you have we any get questions, back, or you want to bid, or any of that stuff. As we get back, I'm to just going to hammer bid bid. Burgess in the top of the head real quick. Yes. <laughs> I am going to bid um, <laughs> unscathed. Uh huh. And um, what I want to do is, Wilhelm, can you get as close to those? Uh, train tracks down the way um we're gonna split up and i want you to take this crawler and and hide it 
and the and the mountains closer to the city uh, i'll radio you when when we get to uh our destination uh we'll, we'll keep in comms contact absolutely dolby lieutenant as you guys pop off the crawler yeah if, if we get closer to the railroad tracks that are that are down the way oh i see so you want him to take the crawler to the railroad tracks and then you're gonna do what uh, and then i'm gonna have him go hide the crawler and we're gonna catch a train okay i understand um okay so you're in the foothills uh we will say roll a d6 or d6 and that is, <clears throat> yeah and it's gonna say say about how long it's gonna take you to get down there because you got to get down into the valley and yeah, it's pretty rough terrain. It's, it's a four is what i roll. okay <clears throat> so right now uh, it's gonna take you four hours mm -hmm. being stealthy going through these foothills uh to descend them and get down to the rail i'm As going to use a uh movement proficiency okay to, to make that a reroll yeah, yeah do it well done with the rules <laughs> that is a two as uh vesper says lieutenant it will take four as you hear alice in the back no damika Look over there. Just just this way. Just this way. Ah, uh, two hours. Around abouts. Yeah, no, speed is important. Uh, I want you to get as close uh, when we are off of this uh, device. I want you to get as close to the city unseen as possible. Maybe Rick, since you're monitoring the situation, can you give me uh, some maybe vulnerable um, points in the city? Uh, tr maybe even track one of those, the, their sky defense a little bit with the rail gun. So at present, <clears throat> this is what's going on. Uh, Wilhelm Vesper is autopiloting the, uh, or is piloting the crawler. You guys are being as stealthy as you can. And moving as quickly as you can while doing that through the foothills it's going to take you two hours to get out of the foothills and to the rail um that will be that is not the most direct uh point to the city are you trying to get close to the city i i i actually just want to uh, I, it doesn't have to be close. I just uh, want the the crawler to be able to be strategically positioned so they can augment the air. Okay, <clears throat> so this is what I'm trying to get at: is we're 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 doing a whole lot of things that may not all yeah. be possible, depending on what you're trying. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so right now, you guys are getting to the railroad with yeah, speed we're getting to the railroad, stealth. yeah. And stealth. Okay. And okay. Forget about that second part. We're just gonna okay. go get to the railroad with speed and stealth. Okay. And you want the cool whoa. Sorry. And you want the cool meant to do what? Mm -hmm. Stay in place. Stay in place. And, and you want monitor. Alice monitor. Okay. Alice says. Uh yeah, Lieutenant. Uh if I had eyes on on the city, uh we, we, we could do some passive sensor sweeps, but I could give you some guesses. As for their communications, well, I mean, they're, 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 they're talking to somebody, but I, yeah. we're quite far away and we don't have eyes on it. I'm not, we, we don't do have, have a schematic comms. in the city. We have comms. And so if you can kind of use the comms to um, triangulate where they're located. There's a cutscene you guys obviously don't see between all the NPCs. Uh, they're playing chess. No. As Dole Engineering is sitting down, he looks up at Alice, Alice looking back at him. As Dole gives her a look of stress and fear as if to communicate something. 
to her as she gives a nod. She turns back uh, and talks to you, Dolby. Uh, yeah, um, Lieutenant, we, we, can, we can do that. However, there's a chance with an active scan that they could pinpoint us, or they could know that someone's... I mean, unless they know we're here already. All right. Um, so I I think if if you guys get discovered, I'll need you to move the ship. But until then, um, don't. Uh, and and we'll 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 go light on sensors. Just give me what you can on on soft. Uh, it sounds good. Uh, if 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 we had eyes on it, we could we could send you this telemetry and. Sure. Um, anybody it, here? If, if I were there, then, as you see her, kind of stop herself. Anybody Sorry. here have scans on what's going on in the city? And can relay uh, telemetry, Silas. Uh, do you have, does anybody have scan? Do I have scans of the city other than what I've already seen? Yeah, you have eyes on the city. As in, with your, uh, your scope and how you've hacked it, you can see. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what do I see going on in the city right now? <clears throat> what do you bid? Um. I bid... I'm gonna bid steady hand. Good God! Do you guys hear our cat? No. Good. Cat is wailing. Ah. Wow. Silas, as you as you look through your scope and look around, you see that that ship uh, is not heading your all's way. It's heading toward the coast, uh, toward the factory on the seacoast. You also note uh, there are a few shuttles, so obviously very small, you know, passenger shuttles, moving to and fro. Uh, the city itself, as you actually look into it, it's a little bit more technologically advanced than you thought. Uh, Novus Terra is supposed to be kind of, it's it's a backwaters, 200-year-old um, colony with old tech, uh, they came here with two old capital ships and you know there's purportedly 16 to 20,000 people here uh you're seeing something a little bit different it seems much more thriving there are buildings that uh are skyscrapers so five six seven stories tall um all futuristic looking and stuff uh very desert planet looking <clears throat> so think of like a on Arrakis uh do you know what I'm talking about? Dune? Yeah. The the, the planet uh, where the Harkonnens or the Atreides, whatever, the, the city that they're in. It kind of looks like that. Um, and you see some ships going to and fro. It's like 8 p.m. So it's in the evening. Uh, there's some searchlights and such as perimeter type things. It does look like there's a uh, a kind of wall that surrounds the city. The wall's not too high, maybe 8 to 10 feet tall. Um, and there's several entrances. Doesn't look like there's many people outside of that wall. But within it, there are. It's at this point you see, you notice something. Not a bubble over the city. But some kind of, perhaps it's a mesh. Right when you see it, you it's gone as you see it kind of like static off to the side and then electricity arc over the city just here and there through your scope uh taking taking your eyes away from your scope you don't see it at all as perhaps it's just in the band uh the spectrum that you're seeing it so you can't see it with the naked eye well the city is a lot more advanced than we assumed that it was going to be there's definitely a lot more people there it's a lot it's a lot bigger than what we thought this isn't some tiny community of survivors this is this is much bigger um there's also some kind of 
bubble around it. It seems to have some electricity in it. I I say we approach that with caution. Oh, good. Uh, All right. Um, go ahead. With uh, where you have your scope, <clears throat> can you send those images back to Alice? Is that possible? Can I do that? There to point you can probably. Well, the, there. I I, I you think have you. Yeah, I was going to say you are, uh, you, you definitely can. I think communication with our group is we are, we're, we are all about communication and the ability to share information between ourselves to, to obtaining a goal. So the more information that you can share, we uh, will uh, approach that goal. Uh, to answer, to answer your question, Max, better success. Yes, uh, if you, if you do a bid, you can attempt to make that happen if you do a narrative point like jazzy said you can almost change it to where it's like oh that's how it works okay well i have a narrative point so i'm going to use what uh i'm going to use my narrative point um so that when i initially hacked it i can i i can take the actual feed and send it wherever i want sure uh is it in text space is it a hologram is it like iron man uses what is it it's a hologram as uh where do you send this information straight to your enemies uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna send it over the comms and through atlas oh what's this oh corporal thanks as she opens up this this hologram and searches around i uh, keep keep scanning if you can a live feed would help Okay, I'm going to continue to keep my scope out, panning back and forth so that everybody can have a live feed of what's going on. Sure, so Alice has it. Uh, if you guys want, you can tap it into your HUDs. That's uh, the last time I'm going to help you. Um, and you actually have to literally do it, so. Over here. Like Vegeta. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Just, a little, just a little baby. So um, if you're doing that, let me know. Excellent. Uh... Keep keep on that. Uh, let me know if there are any uh, updates, uh, Silas. I am gonna bid a thing. Um, I'm gonna bid Void Born, which is my sword. Um, to understand what life is like in the SSA and how you. Uh, present uh, in a way that matches the culture around uh, what is happening in any given situation. Um, and I'm going to spend mean like, a narrative like a, point. Like a Voidborn can do that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like a Voidborn can, can, can kind of acclimate <clears throat> because they're, we're a sub subjugated group. I see. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm going to spend a narrative point to say that this this vehicle is equipped with this disguising material uh, to give us costumes that are not unrelated to that of the uh, base that we were just at. And that's a little bridge too far. No, is it? That's I yeah. Can't. There's there's no way you could you could have what they would have as in there's no way you, yeah. could, you could you could yeah that's well n not to, no, to what like, they like, oh my god this is exactly their uniform <laughs> yeah no not to, to get on yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying a look a look so we could adjust our pmb maybe cover up the pmb uh to logos to slightly disguise ourselves sure. okay that's that's so possible. that that's possible that Maybe we could get on a train without too. I'm, like people would look at us, but maybe they wouldn't right, immediately we're attack the, we're, us. We're putting the cart before the horse. Yeah. Yes, you can have disguises. <laughs> so you can figure out disguise stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and the order is: uh, Hey, everybody, I need you to pull your PMV tags off. We're gonna go in dark uh, once we get to the station. Um, not P station, P but once we get, yeah, PMC. PMC. Okay. Um, 
Uh, any logos you have, any any um, materials that you have that that give any kind of reflection to your identity, I need you to take it off. Um, we are going to go in as civilians. So if you can stow and hide your equipment, that would be prefer prefer. I, I love how everyone's actual face <laughs> is responding to what Dolby is saying, like, <laughs> this, this, what? All uh, right. Okay, Dolby, pause on Dolby for a second. I want action sure. on all the rest of you. Uh, yeah, so we're going <laughs> to... Uh, yeah, action's on you guys. Uh, Lieutenant. Uh, Dolby continues drink. No, 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 no. I want <laughs> you guys to play for a second. <laughs> you can tell me what your character's doing. You can describe something. Because if you bounce it back to Dolby, it's going to continue <laughs> on this route. <laughs> and you're not going to get to. This is your chance. Uh, All right, I, go ahead. <laughs> I don't think that's a. <laughs> I want us to look like hobos on the railroad. I don't well, think that's going to work. Rip a stick off a How do I not get an air to point for that? Right now. <laughs> I've been drinking this strong wine. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Because not every uh, idea is a good one. <laughs> I don't I think mean, maybe would work. Maybe you guys could pull it off, but this armor does not scream hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and there lies. We're also <laughs> assuming they have hobos. Oh, so that's well, quite yeah. a leap I, there. I guess yeah, you have a point. They well, may have solved the homeless issue and and not, you know, uh, it's gonna be utopian. Well, yeah. Helm, <laughs> drop us off at a We're nearby a farm. A lot of too. assumptions. Yeah, dro uh, drop us off at a nearby farm that is uh, <laughs> uh, close to the railroad. And, and and uh you can make your way from there uh thanks sir uh i don't think that we can oh, we should not go into the city without our armor and our weapons uh i agree I mean, it's better if we go across try and go across the, well first off is there going to be a train station yeah, well, it doesn't have to be a train station. We, if we get on a farm, maybe the train will stop, and they they'll put materials from the farm onto the train, and and um, we jump on the train. I mean, it's it's not like a, a we we got to hold on tight. You know, these trains are fast. I'm not really <laughs> sure what the train what schedule is. We could be sitting there waiting for two days for a train to well, show up. If we, st if we and sit and wait for two to... days, that's fine. Uh, I, I, trains go by uh, where, where, as far as I know, in, in industrial facilities like this pretty often. So, And I would like to spend another, another narrative point that, that the trains go by fairly often. <laughs> uh, here's another problem. Uh, uh, what about this landscape screams farm land to you exactly? <laughs> oh, you guys all experienced. Right. So like, Andrew you guys, gets a narrative point. You guys all experienced <laughs> some really wonderful food, like human food, uh, at the last base, and uh, you know that stuff was not freeze dried. That stuff was like real deal, like. It was an essay, say, essay, okay, SSA, um, uh, component food. So, like, we, we find a big I... farm or like a you know, cheap farm, or should have let you guys it's run yourself farm, out <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I spent I spent my narrative point to say that the beef Wellington was um, was collected from a vertical farm in the city, so like layered, you know, like, yeah. So, narrative points, while uh, very powerful, cannot defy the story. Dolby, 
as your 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 people are, are saying, um, as far as you are aware, there are no farms. This is a desert, uh, by and large. Sure. Raises a question: How the fuck do they have food? Yeah, and why that are they? Good. That's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, you don't know. Uh, as for the rails, as of yet, you have not seen a train. Now, could you spend a narrative point saying that there is a train? Yes. I did. I said yeah. that the trains yeah. were frequent in my narrative point. They're not frequent. Or relatively that's, frequent. That's, that's a part. Is there not? Rel frequent? Relatively frequent. Right. I get it. <laughs> if the bad guy's a ghost and you're like, well, technically he's kind of alive. No, he's not. He's dead. He's a ghost. Sure. <laughs> narrative no, I understand. are powerful for players. However, there are some things they cannot do, right? Yeah. So you can have one saying there's a train when you're getting down there. Hey, luck of the draw, there's a train coming. Yes, oh, but well, then not, maybe there's a train not coming. Frequent. How, yeah. How's that? Uh, there is a train coming. It's far in the distance. And, and you, can there's an, and you can see it coming. There's an imperatus that, that we move quickly to try to uh, get the beings of us and the, the facility that we are in onto that facility, uh, uh, which exists. As you look out, you see coming from the south uh, off to your right. Sorry. Coming from the south, which is behind you, and off to your right. You see a train up here. Uh, the tunnels will go through um, some of the mountains. Uh, and for a moment, one of you spots the train in the distance as it is heading toward the main city. Uh, with some quick calculations, Dolby uh, maybe asking Archangel, Archangel and such, or perhaps Alice, you find that on your current course, you will probably intersect it and uh, what the fuck's his name? Vesper or Wilhelm can actually guide you to where you will intersect that train. Yeah. The train itself does not look like a passenger train. Sure. It's about four cars long. It's rather small um, in that regard. Uh, it looks like a container train. Um, well, well, unless you want to, you dropped a narrative point. You can make it a very important train if you wish. If you want that, then it'd be really, really long. Yeah, I, I think that it's a train. Uh, there's a there's a spaceship coming in to get more cobalt, and that so this is the load. They drop the load on this train. So, and <clears throat> this train is coming in to meet that that cobalt uh, all right i will tell you up. why i'll tell you why that won't work oh. <laughs> okay i don't know <laughs> it, 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 i mean it's plot there's you, you know you, sure sure no i understand yeah I, I can allow you guys to change the plot to a degree but if i allow you to change the plot all, all right. the time 100 per, hold on i'm then, not done hold on yep. if i allow you to change the plot 100 percent, then when you encounter certain things it won't make sense because sure well you change the plot so sure. the reason if this is a long train, right? It's an important one. That's what we're changing it to. Yeah. That means it is from the southern colony where there is food. Yeah, food. It's a food train. Right. Okay. If it was the four car one, it would be something different. Yeah. No, it's a food train. All right, food train. Action's on you guys. Um, so are we we'll also have... this train right now, boss, or what? Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna jump on a train, guys. All right. So I'm just gonna start running, like at, at, at what I feel like is like the pace that the group can keep running. up with. We're, and we're I look on... back, and they're like, everybody's so <laughs> far back. We're 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 on a on a, on a moving vehicle. We are on a we're on, on a vehicle. Clearly. 
<laughs> it's been a long time but yeah, Cherokee, Cherokee just jumps the fuck off he's like fuck it <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> running alongside this fucking thing I, I, at at this point, nobody, I, I'm gonna grab. I'm, I'm gonna grab Cherokee. It's like I know you want to run, buddy, but it's not the time for that yet. <laughs> I'll just like awkwardly climb back into the vehicle, not realizing it was a bad idea until it was too late. Fucking I grab him by the, the shoulder. <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> yes, the pyrotechnic the department is definitely doing its thing. Yeah. Lord Almighty, we're going straight into the montage. We can, <laughs> As, huh? We can probably use the crawler to match speed and hop over yeah, into the train. Please. Exactly. Uh, Wilhelm, could you match the speed of this train in order for us to <laughs> jump on this crawler? Maybe give us a bridge of sorts so we can give a leap over. As you montage to that point, you get to the train. You see the trains uh, all sci-fi style uh, flying past as like a, like a Western movie. You slide up alongside the train. Let's find out if the train has guns on it. Uh, we'll do a fate roll real fast. Who's fortune? Who's false fortune? I'll be fortune. I'll be false fortune. All right, stakes. Doing pretty bad. Fortune. Guns or uh, food? Wow. Man. Yes, guns for food on the desert planet. <laughs> they just had a fucking civil war. You contrary bastard. <laughs> oh my Why fucking would god. Why would you do that? For, guns for food. What the fuck? Fuck you. There are guns on the thing. There's no, there's no fucking fortune roll. Everyone can eat my ass. Okay. <laughs> But they're like, I'm gonna go get guys. some ice. Sure. I'll be back. You guys talk amongst yourself. <laughs> they're just rusty guns for show. Like, you know, if you were to fire those, they would just go. Yeah, I, I, I also think the cameras aren't really working because, like, they haven't looked at the cameras for a long time, and and nobody's attacked the station for five years, so it's just another run. No, because there's a there's an active group of rebels that are against them. But the the rebels are where are the rebels? They're running somewhere else. They're doing. They have other. They have alternative motives. They they have plenty of food. They have beef Wellington. What do they probably, care about some food? What do they because care? They stole because they have it beef from one of Wellington. The shipments. <laughs> yeah, they stole, they stole it from the shipment. And and they're riding they're riding fat on the 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 backs of like that's where their 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 headquarters is 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 in the south area where all the food is <laughs> they control the food they have the agricultural uh, center of power whereas the Confucius has the industrial center of power but they wouldn't be trading with them. They're not trading. It's it's forcible stealing. Plunder. <laughs> it's plunder. <laughs> I mean, that's what we do, right? We plunder. Plunder the, the food from the, the south regions the, off the backs of the working poor. Yeah. That's how we that's uh, that's how we that's how we make it make it through on a day to day basis. We are uh, turning into uh, less people. Uh, what is what is Burgess Burgess thinking in this moment? I'm still in my suit. <laughs> uh, Katrina Talmus, what is she thinking? And silence. Nothing. She's off, off on. That. Uh, is does um, Cherokee Sue have any thoughts in the moment after Dolby grabs Cherokee Sue, uh, insisting that he doesn't step off the moving uh, carousel? Uh, first of all, thankful. Uh, um, realize that. Cherokee wasn't paying any attention to the uh, the context of what was like occurring. I, I was definitely the uh, ride for the uh, along for the ride guy. You know what I mean? 
It's like you said we're going somewhere, so I'm like here, you know what I mean? Like that was it. And then you then all of a sudden all the stakes showed up and I was like, oh, oh, okay. So uh I guess we're doing this. And and Silas, uh, do you still have a lock on the uh spaceship in the distance? Yes. Um, Skip Trace, what are you thinking? The cat. <laughs> so funny. Uh, <clears throat> I think that we are jumping the gun fast. So you but... think it's a bad idea to take the train into the city? And uh, my, no, my I, thoughts. I'm, it's not my, a bad my idea. thoughts, Skip. My thoughts, Skip, are to use this rover as a distraction while we sneak into the city to see what's happening in there. It's not a bad decision. It's just, uh, first off, we don't know if there is a guard tower the minute we go into the city there. We don't know. There is a lot of unknowns on this, and we, you seem to have put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, but my narrative points... Uh, saying that the cameras uh my second narrative point saying that the cameras were uh not working because it's been five years since the civil war uh and since uh this has become a routine food tr transplant from the south in which we which with the native population steals food from the south, so they're not. You guys, you guys happy get friends. on the train, no problems. You get into the city, no one looks, no one gives a shit. They don't seem to even care. It's like there's no, it's one of those, uh, those cameras that like they're just there for show. There's not even anyone like at the guard tower, Skip. Like they've gotten super lazy, and you walk in. Now what? <laughs> I'm still. Uh, so Dolby, Dolby, spend a bunch of narrative points. You win. Okay. Now what? You're in the city. Well, are there any are there any bars that we can go get? Yeah, there's at? bars and stuff. Uh, and uh, you guys are in your fucking. Are you are you disguised? Uh, we, well, we we did. we we don't have logos on ourselves. Uh, have the rest of you disguised yourself? No. This, in no. terms of when no. you said take off your tag, that's all I did. Yeah. All right, so you guys are rolling deep okay. with your weapons out. Uh, you look like mercenaries, basically. <clears throat> that stole a bunch of military grade stuff. Uh, yeah, you're rolling through. Uh, the city is large. There's people on the streets here and there. Uh, they are not wearing armor. Some of them have rebreathers on and such. Uh, a lot of people are armed. <clears throat> uh, it's sort of like a Western, uh, think of like spaghetti Western town. Um, there are obviously like mercenaries around and, uh, an entire culture here. City looks like, we'll say Alice states, maybe 35, 40,000 people are here. And yes, there are bars and all kinds of stuff. Oh, uh, nice. are, not a are lot there, of, not a lot of traffic. Yeah. Are there places where walk. there's like a bar that is maybe more popular than other bars or, you know, we're not looking for a dive bar with nobody in it. I think I want to use street sense to try to discern why nobody is out and where we can potentially take Dolby to keep him busy, one, and two, find information. Okay, uh, so you can bid to do one of those things. Well... As you could bid, you, you, you can bid to do stuff, thing, right? but it's like one one main thing. Oh, you mean sort of like to find a place to get all that done? Yes. Yes. I see. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you bid for it? Uh, street sense. Street sense. Bidding street sense, uh, looking around. <clears throat> yeah, you can mm -hmm. find uh, uh, a low-key tavern that also has people in it. Um, and just a hunch, you've... Cherokee, you've likely been to colonies before, yes? Yes. Um, the atmosphere in these colonies is such that it's not great to be outside. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of foot traffic. <clears throat> you notice the way that, uh, you notice the way the city's built is strange 
if compared to let's say earth because you are from earth haha -ha, this all makes sense <clears throat> have you ever been to boston i've been through not to no boston is notorious for its streets and the non 90 degree angles right There's the no reason grip. being old it's city not right <clears throat> because the horse and carriage not cars so the idea of when this colony was made initially it was made it was laid out for a certain way of life and somewhere in the last 200 years that way of life life has changed so the foundations of the streets the foundations of of how these buildings are laid out don't really match with what people are doing okay yep you've got narrowish streets uh that remind you perhaps of like buggies would go to and fro kind of like a mining town might have but that's not what's happening there's very few of those as you realize they would take up most of the street and there's bars here uh it looks like they've been converted out of uh container buildings in some places and then uh actual architecture is built up on them and and beside them so you're living you're seeing like the historic district of the colony does all this make sense you're you're looking at me like i'm i'm made of vegetables uh, yeah. um, well if that, that was sense. the case i would eat you but oh yeah I, mm. <laughs> only vegetables thinking in my mind's eye if you will of, of an ancient city that is modernized faster than its infrastructure is capable of keeping pace with or that they got an influx of technology work so so like a really old city that on its exterior seems ancient but on its interior is quite modern and advanced sure uh Somewhere you know people are walking around they just don't lounge and loiter outside so the sense of community here it, it means it's a different thing it, it's not well, like, they do it inside yeah it's all indoors right mm -hmm. so based on that based on this bit of knowledge i've been able to discern looking around i've picked the a tavern that fits what we're what we're looking for is yep. what you're getting at. okay you have okay if you want to old leave, i'll be leave <clears throat> It is one of the old taverns. It's made out of a uh, an old shipping container. And when I say, this is like a spatial, spatial, uh, a spaceship sized shipping container. So this thing is like the size of a building. What's the name of it? This tavern. The salty. The greasy axle. The greasy like asshole. Axle. <laughs> That's not asshole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It'll be uh, the greasy axle, but like the lettering's rubbed off to where it looks like a soul. <laughs> a soul. Uh, we'll head up, I believe, in about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Or whatever time it is. <clears throat> yeah. Is, All right, you guys are in a bar. Is there a. Well, is there a building, a, like a taller building? And like a taller building with ax like outside access to the top of it. Sure. Okay. Um the scale. Silas. Uh yes. There's this big building over here. Do you think the two of us should go up there and maybe scope out the city now that we're in it from a high vantage point? Yeah, absolutely. Is that good, sir? Uh, get out of my way. I want a drink. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll, I'll just shadow, I'll shadow the boss man and, and see if there's any information to glean. Uh, note to self, my channel video or voice channel is gonna be open the whole time so that y'all can hear what is happening. So you have constant, like, the information isn't coming secondhand from my mouth, if that makes sense. Yes, um, we, uh, I think it'll give us a good vantage point. Um, maybe, maybe we can gather some information from up there. Tell us, do you have anything ex expensive on you? I'll get you back. 
Give me something uh, expensive. Uh, you mean like, I don't have anything that has like valuable. I don't. Retail I don't care. value. Yeah, just valuable. Like, like, just something. Uh, like your your family is. You're worth all this stuff. You gotta have something that is worth it. I promise you, you'll get it back. It's fine. I don't keep that kind of stuff on me. I work as a mercenary. Why would I keep valuables on me? Well, you keep valuables that you, you of, of of things you steal. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's just a little bit. Just like you want to you want like to mid- see you want to see where my valuables are. And she points to her you know to her entire body covered in armor. This this right. is where all my valuables I, are. I currently. grab I grab a piece of her armor and I yank it off of her. Oh, that actually. <laughs> Katrina will actually grab your wrist. Did that? The fuck do you think you're doing? You're no fun. <laughs> no, no, no fun at all. She, she, You're she, she, useless. Rips, she rips the piece of armor out of her hand and pl- and clips it back to her gear. What the heck? The, the, that's not. No. <laughs> We're not doing that. That's fine. I got it. I got this. <laughs> By myself, like um, always. I'm gonna give Just him me. my backup bat- ion battery to barter with to start a tab. <laughs> uh, and I and I take it, and you I stumble into the bar. At a bar, space marines. <laughs> I and I'm at the bar. Let's get drunk. I know, like here, yeah, take yeah, this. See how many drinks you can get for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got here, here. Are there hot girls? I do them. I've got this. What a Mountain Dew. I've got this. Uh, this. Uh, this. <laughs> I don't know object that that Cherokee Sue gave me, and I slam it on the bar. Uh, really loud to get <laughs> noticed. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, people do notice you. Oh and my Cherokee, God! You that... have bartered. Yeah. Uh, that... For drinks. That uh, last, uh, oh my god, that was that was some bullshit. Uh, round of drinks for my crew. Round of drinks for my crew. Is your helmet up? Uh, no, I'm probably sealed in still. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, I I press the button that I'm gonna spend a narrative <laughs> point that there's a speaker on my on my uh, yeah. outfit. Uh-huh. That says round of drinks for my crew, round of drinks for my crew. It's all it says. It's just programmed for the one for it. <laughs> <laughs> like a Darth Vader <laughs> mannequin thing. <laughs> uh, the bartender. How much yeah. of a son of a bitch do I want to be? Buy, buy the bar drink. The bartender uh, walks up. He looks like a very maudlin, annoyed person. Who's a... Uh, <laughs> it looks a lot like me as he he looks up at you what do you want uh i don't know i'm feeling i'm feeling kind of it's a, it's like it's like when you're poor but you you want to feel rich but the re, the reality <laughs> is that you don't have that much money so I'm feeling poor, but I want to buy everybody a drink. So can 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 you what what how just however many drinks you can get for this? As he looks at what did you bring him? <laughs> uh, whatever Cherokee suit game. gave me. Cherokee, what is it? My backup ion battery. The you know how my hammer is runs on those ion batteries. I I have three. I had three of them by chance. Uh, I just gave him one of my backups. Yeah. Uh, I mean this is. All right, you want to buy a drink for buy a drink crew? for everybody? We lived, we lived, motherfucker! And he grabs the bartender by the collar. We lived. We didn't die. We lived. Uh, the bartender's like just kind of letting you do it as he's like looking at this ion battery and looks up at your helmet. You're gonna have to let me go if you want me to while I get you drinks. Is he wearing a respirator? Can we take our helmets no. and stuff off? Yeah, he's not wearing anything. No, he's wearing so clothes. But... Yeah, all right. Unless no, and the doors have sealed and everything. Bar. All right, I I flip up my helmet. Take it off. Ooh. Yeah, you're drunk. All right, uh, well, let me go. As he eases off you. Uh, This will get you there. 
I mean, you can get... He looks around. Four or five rounds for the entire bar with this. Are you sure? Yeah, it's, let's party. All right. As he <laughs> takes it to the back and pulls out, we'll say four bottles of bourbon because they drink bourbon in space. I regret uh, that. Katrina actually sidles, sidles up next to him. Clearly, since, you know, we're uh, um, overpaying uh, for me, how about you make me your favorite thing to make? You can see on this guy's face, he <laughs> not only has heard this question lots and lots, he fucking hates it. As he's like, oh yeah, uh, I'll make you something real good. As he turned, you see him grab the, the dark eyes vodka and be like, <laughs> as he gets like a little hose of cranberry juice and he's like, this is, you'll like this one. <laughs> get some, get some, get some space bull. Baseball. Little cherry on top. It's one of those bright red cherries. I, I, I do a little hand signal off to the side. And that actually would be saying, a good drink, by the way. <laughs> saying that anybody who's followed me into the restaurant, uh, and of course, um, Katrina would not see this because she didn't know my hand signals. Don't drink. Uh, Spin a pip for that. Oh, a pip? Yeah, because it's in the past. Uh, okay. Katrina, uh, he makes you this drink. It's in a a Collins glass. So think of a rectangle, tall, tall glass. Uh, got the cool swirly straw. The big, the bright red, like, what is it? Red number 57, whatever the fuck it is. Red number five. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's what you get on Sundays. You're looking yeah. at me like, again, yeah. I kicked the baby. What the fuck? It's a cherry. Do you not like cherries? <laughs> Not really. He cuts I up mean, the fruit really really like cherries. It's like the cheap maraschinos. Like cherry, cherries slimy. are good. Cherries are good. I like it cherries. Puts the cherry, I just don't eat them. The little orange wheel, and like a fucking deal of pineapple. You get an umbrella too. He's looking at you like, really? <laughs> Thanks. No, I really <laughs> like it. That's <laughs> actually here. Here, hold on. Actually, I got I got some extra for you. Uh, and she and she plots. I don't know if it's something you can use, uh, uh, but maybe, you know, you could use it. And she puts down a, a laser designator <laughs> that she has. <laughs> it's like the only thing I have that's like extra thing. I see you all barter. Indeed. <laughs> well, Confucius's coins uh, probably won't be that good in the next few years. So you, hear a f you see a few people kind of turn and look at the bartender. And she's like, what? Fuck him. And takes the thing. And... I'm just going to turn around and go, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> As in typical fashion, he drinks a little bit. And he's like, you know, I mean, honestly, there's probably going to be a coup in like the next. What? Few of the people are talking about it. It's good. The guy's an asshole. Actions on you all. You're in a bar. Uh, Katrina finds uh, a comfy place in the corner and goes and sits down. A comfy, I should say, a comfy place in the corner that is facing the door. Gunslinger seat. So, I... Am I have not planned for this, y'all. There's nothing that's going to happen. It's on you all to do this. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm still trying to at least find some information out here. Yeah, what do you say? So... My, I'm gonna get a, the tray of drinks, and I'll uh, yeah. let's run Dolby around to the different groups and have him offer drinks to the people. Um, I'm talking to Katrina for some reason, not to Dolby about himself. I have no idea why, but I'm just like, yeah, let's let's. <laughs> oh, yeah, you left, didn't you? <laughs> I have no idea. Third party. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Dolby now. Okay, let's let's go around, take these drinks, see if we can learn some stuff from the local yokels. Um, just do your thing. I will do the rest. Yeah, uh, Burgess. That's all, uh, that's in all the back. Those things, right? Boom, you see the door go, and there's a shitload of boxes in the back. Yeah, I was going to say, oh Burgess, I think there's some boxes. <laughs> Skip Trace, you're standing there. Oh, and Silas, uh, what are you doing? I thought, I thought Skip there Trace and Silas sure. were uh, on a building. You want uh, to pop. Yeah. Silas and yeah. Skip Trace, I'm going to uh, talk to you guys real quick. 
you exit the building, you climb the fire escape to the top uh, of this one, or of, of the tall building. Um, you know, you're in military shape, uh, although it's been, you know, 10 years, 11 years since you've really moved your muscles that much. <laughs> or, or been on a planet with... Kind of. Yeah, so uh, it takes you a while to get to the top of this skyscraper. Scraper. It's about five stories tall. You do get to the top. Uh, from in here, from within the city, every so often, if you look up and stare, you see the grid, this electrified grid above you. Uh, just looking up, you don't see it. Every so often, you see the electricity zzz, go over it in spots. And perhaps the thought is, what the fuck is that? Like in Meanwhile, Highlander 2. We don't talk about that movie. <laughs> that's, that's not <laughs> The Shield. We don't talk about that. <laughs> As uh, some shuttles go by, by, what are you guys doing? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight, y'all. Uh, See you next time. <laughs> uh, as we get up there, I'm gonna be like, let's, let's, uh, let's look around. You use your scope. I'll try and see closer stuff and see if we can see, get some idea of what's going on in the city where people are moving from where people are moving to maybe if we can find the headquarters from up here of where confucius is i don't know for sure but high ground is the best place to start looking i'm going to take out my scope and see if i can see anything of note do you bid anything i'm going to bid my sniper rifle well i can just um, a rifle looking about what were we saying? But I was it... just going to say, I'm going to bid private to do the same thing. <clears throat> you two look around. Uh, Skip Trace, you find it looks like in the center of the city, uh, <clears throat> along this main road, the old road, there is kind of a squat building. You can see just straight down the thoroughfare. Uh, it looks like a fortress, as in it was made of prefab material uh, spaceship grade as in like scale 2 um, it is likely the foundational building that the colony made uh, you know that it's a defensible point it's, it's old school colony or colonial tactics as in a colony would build their colony that way uh, as you look at it it has some uh pomp and circumstance, some flags, standards around it. Looks like there's guards and a wrought iron-ish gate put around it. Looks very official. <clears throat> Silas, as you're scanning about, you notice a couple things. One, there's a fountain down one, uh, one street. It has this water uh, you know, uh, spraying from it. But it's not the brackish water. It's not the electrified water. It's actual just water. And you see that there's a couple guards walking around it. The fountain itself is quite small, <clears throat> but it looks out of place in all of this city. It, it, there's some, yeah, it looks out of place. And then you see something else just beyond the fountain. Uh, a 10, maybe 15 foot pillar and atop that pillar is a giant statue of a man in uh, fatigues with a little hat that goes out and he's doing the salute he's got like a little goatee he's, he's yeah got, the salute yeah. yep and he's got like his hand on his hip and he's like <laughs> contrapasto doing this ridiculous salute uh, it looks like it's perhaps made of um, some kind of metal. Perhaps copper. Looking about with your sniper rifle, uh, you can see details and that kind of stuff. Okay. So, so direction-wise, uh, skip down the main thoroughfare hmm. that, that this building is on, Maybe quarter mile down the way, you see the compound. Uh, Silas, you're seeing off to the right of that. 
down a couple streets that way. So it's on the same sort of uh, plus sign. So there is a fountain. I'm talking this to Trace. The, there's a fountain down there that it's not electrified like the other water. There, it's There's something weird about it. And there's a giant copper statue of a man doing our salute. Wait, the uh, SSA salute? That's odd. Um, uh -huh. I found a compound over here. If you'll come over and get a closer look at it, um, it's an old school compound, so don't know if they would still be using it as their headquarters, or they may have upgraded, but it, it looks to be guarded, so there may be some stuff in it. Okay. I'm going to pivot my scope to look at the compound. You look at the compound. Uh, it looks just like Skip Trace described. Are you looking for anything particular? Kind of like the motion that's going on around it. Anything I can find out about the people around it. Like, are these like security around it? Is Does it seem like an important compound? <clears throat> it looks very important. Um, you're seeing around 10 uh, guards. They're all armed uh, with military grade big guns. So marine guns um and they have the bearing of uh paramilitary so they don't seem like marines they don't seem like soldiers yeah. i mean they are soldiers but they don't look like regular soldiers so there's some kind of mercenary like force around there there's about 10 of them and they're all armed so getting near that compound isn't going to be pleasant. Okay. Um, should we scope this out a little bit more? Or you want to head back down and let them know? What do you think? I think we should, well, we should go back and let <coughs> Cherokee know. I think that's hmm. the last, uh, that's the last, uh, un, uh, unhindered brain among us as of right now. Or maybe not. I don't know if he's been drinking. I mean, to be fair, I'm like Andre the Giant, so it would take like a 30 rack to get me drunk. Yeah, you guys have to drink a lot. So, in my mind, I'm just doing like the sociable thing to where like every once in a while I'm taking a drink so people don't think I'm, a, you know, fucking sus or whatever. But I'm not uh, intoxicated. Like You're, it, you're it, given... You were given orders not to drink anything. Well, you're drunk. How do you know I'm not drunk? <laughs> you know what I'm, I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying that that was the order that... Burgess, that, where that are I, you? I spent a pip. <laughs> <laughs> we love that for you. I'm in the middle of the bar. He's just standing like there? on the bar? <laughs> not on the bar. Please Maybe I'm... The bar. I'm uh, sort of next to the bar, but I'm standing up because I'm still in the suit. I can't really just sit down on a chair. Yeah, you can. Kind of bulky. I've also got a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> in a bar. And a, and a very... And a very yeah, nobody seems to notice, yeah, though. Do. Like, like you guys just look up like a bunch of mercs. Yeah. It's the somebody else's problem drive working its magic. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, I, I am I am talking to the bartender, and and what I'm doing is like he I spent nonplussed. Yeah, I I I spent um, and I'm gonna bid for this, but I spent um, quite a bit of money in his establishment to get his bar drunk to get him nonplussed because he's not really feeling it. And I'm gonna bid. Are you to telling merit. him this? No, I'm I'm bidding to merits, to okay. to because I've been drunk in my life and I I probably have a bit of a buzz going, but every time I go to to take a, a shot that he pours me, I throw it out, and I'm like, yeah, man, Confucius. You throw it out when you do that, like I well I I don't let him see it I I I, I covertly. Uh, drop it, 
drop it. Oh, I see. I don't okay. drop the cup, but I, 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 there's a, there's a pool that is being created underneath my chair at the sure. bar. Uh, and I, and I, I get a lot, I, I'm doing my best to keep, keep his attention because I, I heard what he said about, uh, um, you can, you can hear, uh, or you can hear it. You can see that he is attentive. Um, he is paying attention to you. He's also he's busy as well. Yeah. He's also, um, you can tell he's probably suspect of you because you and all your cadre are in armor and you have weapons yeah. uh, but that but that's that's nothing it doesn't not that's like, nothing abnormal i'm in, i'm embracing the mercenary look that sure. is part of the bid i am yep. em embracing yeah those rebels they gave us a little bit of hard fight but you know confucius ah, damn like he asks a lot like a lot a lot no he pays but, you all pretty well well, the pay isn't as as great as you think you as you think it would be. Like you kill a couple of people, like you probably think I'm a little callous. You think I'm an asshole. I get it, but you know it, it it's a living, and yeah, you know fair enough. I tip well. I I tip well. I I I go to a place. I feel I feel like it's important to like make sure the society infrastructure whatever yeah. is. Yeah. It moves along, uh, you know. It's a necessary it, man. part. Of, yeah. Like I'm not gonna like if 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 I was 20 years older uh, or younger. I don't know. I've been drinking. If I if I was younger, I might have I might have said something. But I think you're right. I think he's out. I think I think well, he's these not guys, out right now. I mean, he's got no. Those, Turn cloak P and P and C whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, but the, where is the P and P? Where are they? They're they're ten and late years away. They can't send anybody else. What are you talking about? Yeah. They sent people like five years ago. Yeah, five years ago. What every five? I mean, by the years. skin of skin of their teeth, uh, Confucius. I guess convince them. I don't know what deal he made. And then five. those fucking. Robots came. I mean, come yeah, on. Ten they years. got a whole well, deal robot. going on. Yeah, d robots. I mean, it's a living. We get where we get. Like, if 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 you Look, know, I don't judge, man. If, if if somebody gave me some 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 ideas of what I should do next, I might listen. But you know, I need a place for my people to sleep for the night. We've been up for a while. He just kind of looks at you. Yeah. Do you, do you got anything? <laughs> you 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 want a place to sleep? Uh, well, I mean, we're, we're we're off a mission in the south. They were like the food. Like you don't know what we go through to get the food to travel up through the city. Let me go see and if to I can feed find the city. As he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like uh, go the I'll be along <laughs> to the next group of people. <laughs> Bert, All right, standing hey. there like a statue. Uh, uh, Cherokee, you're with Dalby. Silas and Skip, you're up top. What are you all doing? To join the rest. Uh, we also. were on our way back down to tell them what yep. was going on. You enter the bar as you see Cherokee uh, <laughs> attempting to usher Dolphy away from uh, the bar. Okay. In interior comms to everyone, I'm going to be like, well, we found some things, some interesting things about quarter mile uh, down. There's a main thoroughfare. There looks to be a compound. And, and Silas, do you want to tell them about what you saw? Comp surrounded by a mercenary force. It's not going to be easy to get into. It's not going to be easy to get near. It's near a fountain, and it's the only water source in the that I've seen that that has no electricity around it. And I don't know what it's for, but it definitely looks out of place. Oh. 
Somebody well, there's, must be there's also a, There's also a statue of someone doing our salute. Well, is there a way you can kind of research the city to, to see who installed the fountain? Oh. Um, if, uh, if you wanted us to, we could go down to the statue and see if there's a base plate or something describing it. Well, if you if you feel like it's safe, I, I, I'm not interested in like causing a whole lot of ruckus. I think we, we got a little time where where they're focused uh, elsewhere, but uh, I agree with Cherokee. I don't think we were, we should split up. But I think I think if, if you can find something, uh, can you tap into the city uh, Internet and do a search where that fountain came from? Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bid, bid my hacking tools to do that. As <clears throat> you uh, search the network, <clears throat> uh, you see there's several uh, a- access points. Um, this bars, uh, we'll see if it has a password or not. <laughs> hey, Dolby, roll a d6, call high or low. Oh, shit. I, I gotta do both? Yeah. I'm gonna call low. Oh, no, I got high. <laughs> yeah, I have a password. It has a password, but you did do hacking, so, uh, Silas? The password is one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five. You forget my luggage. <laughs> Do you want to drop a narrative point? That is the password. Silas, action die and your aspect die. We'll call it mind. Threshold for this, for you, will be one. So you need two for a clean success. Okay. Password is Confucius sucks. <laughs> two successes. And in fact, you say two successes. Yeah. You, in fact, find that the password is Confucius sucks with an X. Amazing. Mm-hmm. As you're in, you search. What are you searching for? <clears throat> I'm searching for any information about the statue are... and about mm. the, like, if, and if I can, about the, the compound that's surrounded by the mercy. There are course. ads. This is like the late 1990s. There are ads on okay. every page, like bling bling. There's music that pops up every time you re- load a page. <laughs> Awful. What do you mean, like the 90s? That's still. <laughs> no, that wasn't like the 90s. The 90s wasn't like that. You know, There's still tables you know what? and TRs, man. <laughs> the, the, the 2024s is like that. Ads on every page. 90s. Well, okay, not too much. Well, you're talking about pop-up windows specifically. Like there was like a, a heyday, okay. where you had to get through like 15 pages. Oh, well, like they have tabs. like the the little emo not emojis like it's before emojis like the gifs, the yeah. like stars and shit, and it's always constantly yeah. right as you find this out. That is a statue of Confucius. It's called the Statue of Water. And the base plate says freedom for the free. Uh, it was commemorated 10 years ago. As you follow the links and such, you see that the SSA salute this colony has appropriated. Uh, 200 years ago is when this colony was founded. They were a part of the SSA. But you notice some inaccuracies. Or are perhaps they are accuracies. It seems like propaganda, perhaps. This is not the SSA salute. This is the old Earth salute that meant something back in the day. It meant freedom and exploration and uh, to the stars, you know, ad astra and all these things. It's a it's a, a noble uh, idea. Like you're grasping, you're grasping the stars like mm-hmm. this, right? And unfortunately, it is the SSA that has gone away from the uh, their their roots. So they have appropriated these things. Uh, Confucius was he was he was walking in the mountains and saw a light, and in that light he saw the truth, the truth about and it keeps on going. 
So uh, he is he's divinely creed to be decreed to be the the ruler of this place. Maybe. So the statues of Confucius and they have this bullshit that this is actually an old earth salute. It's not an SSA salute. And we're the Correct. ones that stole it. And we are not, we've gone away from old earth and from freedom and blah, 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 bullshit. So, so it says it uses the I word highly earth doubt that they're going to like us here. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, okay, it's, I'm exactly. talking, I'm <clears throat> saying this stuff to Dolby. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Through the comments. Dolby's been drinking a lot of uh, strong wine. Um, <laughs> so, so all they I need from you don't like is, us is here. too long didn't read. Just, they probably don't like us here. That's that's you, what you need to know, Dolby. I think I think what I need to know is who built the who built the fountain. I need to know the the name of the person who built the fountain. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back online and see if I can find anything about that. What you find out is it says Earth first of all. Um, which you guys don't call Earth Earth. You call it Prime. <laughs> Earth is an antiquated name. It is... It's not outlawed to call Earth Earth, but it's it's like saying, like, holy smokes! Like, it's campy. Um, it will raise eyebrows uh, as to your allegiance to the SSA. What you gather is, one, Confucius had the statue made himself. Uh, he and his cadre... <clears throat> but two, it's kind of like what all dictators do. They go back into history and they deify or um, they take the old lore and make it something that it's not. Right? So like, Nazis and the Aryans. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, we came from the mountains of the blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it's all bullshit. But they can, they can, uh, venerate the ancient earth is what this might seem like to Silas. So Confucius is not against prime, is not against earth. In fact, he's for earth. He's for the original, the original expansion of humanity, the human expansion, which is no longer talked about. Now it's Zens instead of humans. It's the SSA and Prime, right? How Silas wants to dig into this, uh, he can do however he wishes. Is it propaganda? Is there some truth into it? That's up to you to decipher. Uh, Confucius had all of this stuff built. So, so this, uh, this is what Silas relays to Dolby? Yeah. All right. Um, and I message uh, Silas back. Um, Silas, this is all propaganda. It's 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 nonsense. Um, I was hoping to get to see if if we could get maybe someone on the inside, maybe an architect or or you know someone we can facilitate to uh, get a little bit closer to Confucius. But but as the far as I can comes tell. Back out. All right, so I got you guys some rooms. What are there, six of you? Yeah. Uh, it can be for the night. Uh, the landlord said it's okay, considering that you gave us an ion battery. Um, but there's not much yeah, more to that. Yeah, we came in late. We, you know, I don't want to deal with all the paperwork of going in uh, through the system. You know how it, how it is. Not really, but I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah, well. All right. Ooh. Well, you guys have your bourbon and everything. And uh, if you need anything, let me know. <laughs> As he does this half heartedly. <clears throat> I do it perfectly like, like a soldier. <laughs> yeah, there, he, there's a pause. Right. <laughs> and he'll go around and um, do his thing. All right, last uh, I, moments, because we're going to be out of this in five minutes. Last scene uh, for you all. What are you doing? Cherokee, uh, who, who do you take me to? I want to I inter interact with some of these people in this bar. 
Uh, so there's like a CD corner that the, the, the lights kind of like flickering in. I'm like, this is this is fucking perfect. We'll absolutely get some information out of these people. So I'm just gonna like charge you in, you know, like hand on your back, push you into the group to offer these drinks to these strangers, so we can get. Some- hey, Grizzle. Uh, you're gonna call high or low, Hoker? Will you roll a D12? <clears throat> low. It is low. Uh, yeah, you walk up. There's a small group. We'll say that there's two people. Um, a bald man, maybe in his... It's hard to say, maybe 60s. Overweight. Uh, and um, a younger man that perhaps is his his son. Uh, looks just like him, uh, but in his 30s. They look up at you. Uh, hey, Oh, oh, okay. Hey, thanks. You're for the welcome. Drink, You're thanks welcome. The You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Some days you just can't. You, you, there's, there's no way through. There's no way to just get a break. You want a break sometimes, and and it's not there. And and it was one of those days for us. There, there's this whole kerfuffle. I shouldn't be telling you this. Why don't you two soldiers sit down with us and we'll share some drinks. Oh my gosh! Yeah, let's do that. As I'm the song is over, but the chair is too small. So yeah, I'm just gonna stand. I heard some shit like the chatter and the comps today. I can't tell you anything about what's going on. I I really can't. They kind of look back and forth. I just can't, and I I'm... I'm gonna gonna bid another flaw, which is uh. Suicidal, I guess. Uh, <laughs> to really just like flop on the table, and like, like I I put my hand, like, and I hit it hard, uh, my head hard against the the table. Like, I just I don't know if I could do this anymore. Those guys in the south, I mean, I don't know if they deserve this. I don't know. Uh, the two just... sort of look at each other. What happened in the South? What do you think happened in the South? I don't know. Use your imagination. You see, it doesn't seem like they have any clue what you're talking about. Uh, was there a fight in the South? I can't tell you that. It's classified. But you know the food comes from there. Yeah. You like to eat, don't you? <laughs> the son looks at the dad who's overweight. Like, where do you think this food comes from? Every day. Like, these people deserve a fair break. Well, who sent you there? Do you see the emblem on my uniform? Who do you he think looks, sent me there? He looks for an emblem that's not on your uniform. <laughs> I think I I think I get it. Uh Galog, as this the father talks to his son, his name is Galog. Uh <laughs> could you get us another couple drinks? They kind of share a glance as Galog sits up, stands up, and excuse me. Sir? As he moves past you, Cherokee, and he leaves the bar. He's out. So I'm just gonna like kneel down, like and and kind of like level with this this guy. They're like, "What's the sitch, Kim? Possible? Let's let's cut through the what? shit. We've got we've got a dark corner. You seem to be the 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 one in the know. Okay, uh, Private. I it. need you to I need you to be quiet. We got work to do tomorrow. You see him honestly seeming just like he has no fucking clue what you all are talking about. I'm just going to give him another drink. Why don't you have a drink on Thank us? You. Thank you. Uh, and I, I what, give, what, I give, what can uh, I do for you? Cherokee Sue, I give Cherokee Sue uh, like a look. Like, let's, let's move on. 
And then we just walk away. That's it. <laughs> Typical D and D. All right. Uh, so as you guys move around the bar, freaking people out. Uh, skip trace. Last moments. Yeah. Um, I, after conveying the information to them, I will have posted up in a corner, and I'm watching the bar in case something breaks out. Skip, you notice one Burgess standing still in the bar, just in the middle. People yeah. have kind of stopped paying attention to him, oddly enough. Like, he's just so still, <laughs> boring holes into these boxes. They've kind of accepted it. <laughs> As Dolby stumbles around and Cherokee kind of helps him, uh, you note the father and son duo uh, that they just talked to. And the son leaves. As he leaves the bar, he kind of looks over his shoulder. There's a look in his eye. You've seen it before. Um, he's going to go tell someone. Yeah. Like something has triggered his what the fuck. Yep. As you see him look around and start to take off hurriedly. He's not running, but he's walking hurriedly. Um, after or as he goes out the door, I'll give it like a minute or two and then I will exit out the door just to see which way he goes. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not goes... following him, but I'm anticipating where whatever's going to He come goes from. to the compound. Okay. Uh, I will come back in and I'll be like still our comms and not out loud. Uh, that kid just headed towards the compound. Yeah, well, we should uh, evac this location ASAP. And <laughs> uh, I, I have a feeling this bar is not going to be open tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're going to end tonight. <laughs> God. So did we learn anything? Like, did I just usher Dolby around <laughs> just to scare pedestrians? I mean, <laughs> we learned some I mean, stuff. The, the, there, there was, there was, this is for the after hours. Uh, yeah, but we got some after hours to do for sure. It's kind of like in when you get to the dungeon and there's there's a room and it's like, oh, there's a room. I go to the room. Cool. You go in there. And let's say there's like a secret in the room. But there's like the door's locked so the party comes up they're like i checked the door it's locked okay we leave it's kind of like that <laughs> like oh this one's locked we can't go in Just... <laughs> we saw the door we knew that something or, might be no, in there or, 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 this, you, this is or, <laughs> this, the door is locked no this this situation is more like the door is locked uh we we basically murder the uh tavern keeper uh by uh, setting him, putting up a big flag and saying, this guy is the dissident. So he gets to die. Uh, and and then we find out no additional information. <laughs> or... <laughs> or... Or I'm wrong. Yeah. Or you're or wrong. wrong. Yeah. All right. Uh, last little bit. Have you guys found out any interesting news about gaming video games i know jazzy and max you guys stream quite often what are you guys streaming lately baldur's gate three. yeah a bit this of is the new baldur's gate yeah yeah well We're as you've been streaming it for a while one have you beaten it and two how good is it uh very good and no we have not uh i've never played a game where the entire environment is interactable in some way oh uh, it can be a little um, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes it's like i fully don't know what i'm supposed to be doing mm -hmm. but i can absolutely shoot an arrow at the bartender for no reason yes and then what happens uh fight. <laughs> everyone wants fight. to murder you and then you reload yeah. and you're like that wasn't it maybe i should try something else yeah, that was the wrong thing to do is it like uh i remember like in legend of zelda like you get to a certain point where, or one of the legend is all this, where you get to a point in the puzzle that you just have no clue. And 
Well, actually, I, I encountered this in Super Metroid because that's just to date me. Back in the day when I played Super Metroid, uh, it took me forever to realize this one stage to get to the lowest level. And it was this one specific thing you had to do. I sat on it for easily two or three weeks. And my brother couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. And one day I was like, you're walking through the uh, this glass tube going to the next level and you can't get anywhere past where you've gotten. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to set off this smart bomb thing in the glass tube and see what happens. And boom, that is actually what you do. It's the oh one God. place in the entire game that you ever do it. And it actually in, like blows up the thing. And that's how you get to the next, like the end of the game, basically. That's Spoilers so from 1997 or whatever. They have I was that game. Playing, playing that game. I don't have to. Oh. <laughs> but that, that's, that's the thing. It's, it's very frustrating. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have that issue because it wasn't memorable. memorable. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't, you didn't have Super right. Metroid? No, I, I beat the game, but I, I don't remember having that issue. I feel oh. like I... No, I did not, man. It did it forever. It's one of those games yeah. you, you don't you don't have a timer. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Getting yeah. the infra is a bitch. That's that's the yeah. point. Yeah. I'm gonna go to bed, so, guys. Bye well, Max. Night. Night. Bye. 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 Uh back in so, what five? And well hold on. Uh should people play Baldur's Gate or not? Yes, absolutely, they should. Uh, I mean, any reason other than it's a new thing? No, I mean, like I said, it's it's one of those... I don't know if you played, uh, like, Dragon Age Origins or, what is it, Inquisition? It's got, like, this blended turn-based system that is really nice, and you can, like... Oh, it has a turn-based system thing. in Baldur's Gate? It, well, so, yes. So there's, like, a bullet time system that they use to where, like, you can have everybody in the party kind of do their action on their turn and it's a really good way of kind of explaining what we're doing when we're in the dread that's that's kind of how maxi and i have like taken a little bit of a step forward and like being able to interact in the dread it's because like seeing bullet time it is kind of like simulation on the screen it's pretty cool to be able to like oh okay so now i can see how like when that person goes and you know i can stack this and so on and so forth that's really neat um yeah the other Baldur's gates um, that i played uh, we're real time. Like there's no turn by turn by turn thing. Yeah, so it's it's one of those where it's, it sets it up like an initiative role, and essentially you go from there. So oh, it's interesting. Like it's more of like a Final system. Fantasy. Very cool. Yeah, hmm. except it's not like you know, click one of your four options. It's like you can okay. literally do it in anything that you can think of. Um, the the only thing I will say is like if you're not haven't been a gamer in a long time uh it's the quests can be a little bit open-ended and sometimes mm. we are like fully not sure what we're supposed Just to be totally doing. lost yeah <laughs> like fully unsure but other than that like it's a dope game it's a it's an it's a unique experience very cool well this that's a little bit of what we wanted to do here uh because we're going to take these chunks so every week we're going to talk about something that's kind of concurrent concurrent something current and then have that as a little clip on youtube so that's what it is so if you guys think of those types of things uh we can absolutely bring them and talk about them all right holger go to bed peace out man (laughs) all right oh yeah by the way our our, uh our sponsor (laughs) (laughs) i think he was waiting to do that the entire time (laughs) Like since we started, so good. Been wanting so to good. So... <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I, I think he did the thing. exact same thing. I just didn't That's know what he so did before he went out. That's so good. Solid, strong work, guys. <laughs> wow, wow. So if I wow cool. indeed. Um, you, Jizzle? I, I don't know if I can say tonight. It's already late, but well, you guys we had to make me do a lot of fucking work, right? All right, here well, we go. I'll do the outro. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, listening and hanging 
out tonight. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Um, we'd like to thank the people who played this evening. Uh, I'm Drizzle. I play uh, Skip Trace. We have Ken Howell, who plays uh, Dolby. Uh, we have Andrea Elliott Johnson, who plays Katrina Talmus. We have Daniel Holker, who plays Burgess Burgess. We have uh, Max, who plays Silas. And we had Jazzy Cabbage, who plays uh, Cherokee Sue. Uh, we'd also like to thank Bill Bunkum. He is the arbiter. We appreciate him for everything he does. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, the people who provide the music. That's all lowercase letters and Mr. All Interrupt. We'd like to thank the Patreons. Uh, that would be Nostalgic, Natalia Klein, Tim Roberts, and Daniel Holker. Uh, if you are interested in being a Patreon member, go to patreon.com forward slash dreadlore, and you can do that there and help support us. Uh, we'd like to also thank Couchfire Media. Uh, they're the ones who make everything look good that you Couch see tonight. Couchfire. And Terrible Productions for whatever fuck they do. <laughs> That's exactly. Thank you guys so, for being here so and for listening. Today, citizen, and become a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I think I think we can use that bit for the after hours, the little conversation, unless...